Hello and welcome to my shop. Today we're gonna do something a bit different because I am changing the countertops on my kitchen island and uh, we had a massive abache grill in the middle of it which I'll show in a picture and um, I've only used this thing twice uh, because I didn't like the cleaning of it. The cleaning was really a pain because it didn't have a grease pan hole so all the grease stayed in the groove and it took longer to clean the hibachi grill than actually cook on it. So I just decided to get rid of it uh, while changing the countertops and put a, a sink and faucet in lieu of this hibachi grill. Taking the hibachi grill out left a big hole in the middle which needed to be fixed. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fix it together. How am I gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna steal some doors from my master bathroom, which will also be remodeled a bit later. And the doors actually fit the size of the cabinet I need to fix. So we're gonna take it from the bathroom, go in the kitchen and fix it, make it ready to go for the guys to put the new countertop. Then we'll have some uh, plumbing to do, but this will be done by a later stage and it will be done by a, a plumber because I don't like plumbing. I don't like to play with water or to play with fire. And so we'll let the pros do it. So let's uh, get to it. Let's see what it looks like. And let's try to fix this thing together. Okay, let's go. So this is it, this is the kitchen island with a big hole in the middle and we're going to see how to fix this thing together. We're going to start in the left corner there where we need to take out this piece. I'm going to scribe so when I use a saw I don't make a mess. So I'm going to use a knife to have a clean cut. Small passes at the right location, not heavy, and then you should have something clean, which will be used as a reference for your saw. And then you do the same for the top there, so you put your knife in the groove you made to align your square. If I can find the groove, here you go. And then I can scribe the same way, light passes. This is going to be the reference line for my saw and then I take a chisel to cut a groove so my saw can ride along the line here so I take some wood out on the right hand side which I'm gonna cut this way the saw blade can ride in this big groove let's take the saw and saw away these small pieces and I need a little bit of persuasion here because I think I'm the bottom but it doesn't come out. Here we go, finally came out. Now we need to take care of this uh, middle board here. It's attached at the bottom with pocket screws. Lots of grime here we need to take care of and two screws on the side also. Screws that didn't want to come out, so I had to resort to the multi-tool, praying that I would not damage the inside of the cabinet. Oh crap, I forgot to take out a pocket screw, that's why. Yuck, years of grease. Sorry for a blur here. I'm measuring for the board I need at the top here, length and width. And then we'll go to a shop and cut it. Let me write it down and go. One pocket hole I forgot and I missed. I'm glad the wood didn't break. Let's clean that thing. Years of 
Right. From the previous owners. I used this, uh, Abachi grill only twice and I quit using it because there was no wristband. And I did not use it. Let's use some degreaser. Just using goof off here, see? Base boards, okay. I'll use them. Some in here, see what it does. Okay. Extend the wood, but uh, most of the prime is gone. How do I know it? I just put my finger on it. If it's catching, it means I got grime. Okay. And we're gonna reuse this piece. Lift it up for a drawer. Okay, so let's put it aside. So let's see what we have here. So we need the board that is 31 and 5 16 long by three and a half. And it's gonna include the uh, edge bending. It's gonna have two holes on the left side or going down. And then two pocket holes on one side to go to the side of the camera. So it's not even. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have here. Thirty-three and a quarter plus. And this is plenty long enough. And this is three quarters. So let's do that. Let's start with jointer and joint an edge uh, because I don't remember if the bone is straight or not. So let's make sure. By running it once through the jointer. I'm going to mark the edge so I remember because I'm an idiot and my memory is like a goldfish. I go around the bowl once and then I don't remember. And I'm making sure it's square too. I don't know why I did this because it's, it's useless in this case. It doesn't really matter if it's off by a couple degrees. But, anyways, let's do it right. Target is thirty one five sixteen. Thirty one five sixteen. We just check here. Thirty one five sixteen. Okay. It is to be three and a half minus the uh, edge bending, but we don't give a crap. So three and a half. Yeah. 
I told you I was an idiot. You see in the very back, it's my dust bin. I forgot to attach it back to my dust collector. Goldfish, told you. So before continuing, I'm gonna check that it fits in, in the house. I'll be right back. So it fits great. Now we need to put on each side a uh, one and a half inch wide piece to compensate the width of the cabinet from the bathroom, which is three inches shorter. So if I put it in the middle, I need two fascia of one and a half inch. So let's cut that on the table saw so right quick. And for this one, I'm using poplar because I'm going to stain it and match the stain of the cabinet. We dress the first edge and then we cut it to length and we should be good. We sneak on the cut here to be sure. Let's bring out the pocket jig and drill the two pockets we need and drill the two holes on the other side. This one will be done over than the edge bending. I've never done edge bending before and we need to do one piece here. So I bought a, a cheapy iron to black and decker. Um, let's see how it does. And I have one cherry edge bending here. And I also have a cutter. I'll put the links in the description for you. All right. Let's try. Let's unbox this thing. Just oh, an iron. It's going to be used only for edge bending. So I don't really care. That's the cheapest one I found. at like $11 or something. So. Let's try this baby. Hedge band, this side right here. I need a piece of this. I know that looks a little bit more. Here. Here. Okay. Yeah, this is a real piece. Let's do a test before, maybe. On another piece here is supposed to be the same so we do this cut it we're gonna try on this and I think it would be best in the vise okay so this is plugged in it's at the minimum right now let's put it at the maximum Let's wait a couple minutes. So let's try. Yeah, it must be hot. It might be too hot. Yeah, I think this one was too hot. This was too hot. I don't know if you see, but cracks.
Let's try the cutter. So you're supposed to put it here. Close it. Yeah, I mean, this works really good. Cutter is awesome. So this is this is great, but I put the temperature too hot. And I don't know if you see, but there's some cracks here. We'll try another side and see if we can do better. And we'll try this time at three instead of six. I put the maximum, which I shouldn't have tried with max. So put three, which is half. So I did a lot better here. And it's way hot. So I'm going to try two. This thing has cooled off. So let's cut the edge. This looks really good. So we'll call it this one good. We'll call this one good. So here is the end result. I haven't done the stain yet on the side here, but you see this this drawer and these two doors are coming from the bathroom 
I didn't film the installation of this because you see it was everywhere. So it's kind of useless, but we made this together. We salvaged this. We made this. We tried to match the stain. I'll do that. And yeah. This is it. This is it. Need some uh, still some adjustment here for the door, but I can do that later. And tomorrow I should have a new countertop. So hopefully, it's gonna look good. I hope you enjoyed this fixing cabinet tree in the kitchen. To me, it looks good. There's still some staining to do because uh, as I'm shooting this it is taking some time for my testing to dry so I can be sure of what color I'm gonna have which matches as much as possible the cabinets and I'm pressed by time so I, I need to get this done and we'll do the staining a bit later so I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you later